गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेक्चर नंबर थ्री फॉर चैप्टर नंबर वन इन लेक्चर नंबर वन एंड लेक्चर नंबर टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द बिजनेस व्हाट इज बिजनेस एंड डिफाइन ऑफ बिजनेस मीनिंग ऑफ बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी यूजफुल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी इन अवर रूटीन लाइफ राइट so that all topic we have already studied so in today's lecture what we will study is we discuss on the topic first today we discuss profession then meaning of profession characteristics of profession and then employment meaning and characteristics and in lecture number 1 we studied about economic activity non economic activity difference between economic and non economic and in lecture number 2 we have studied the types of economic activity then business first type of economic activity is the meaning definition characteristics objective business risk and causes of business risk and then today we start profession before that we discuss some topic which is important for the examination so first one is economic activity so definition of economic activity then difference which is most important for the examination please tick mark then types of economy mein business profession and employment uh, business means an illegal economic activity with motive of profit then characteristics please underline these all points please students i refer these all topics only for you all objective of profit exchange of goods and service risk on uncertainty creation of utility continuance of activity requirement of money and economic activity then objectives economic objectives first in economic objective profit and maximization of wealth and other economic objective then social objective in social objective total five objectives are included first one objective of social responsibility objective to provide employment opportunity objective to provide quality goods and service objective to adopt fair trade practices and other objective all the characteristics and objectives uh we have already studied in detail so here not need to read in detail then business risk right profit is a reward against the business risk please underline that point then two types of risk natural risk and man made risk then causes of business so change, first one is change in technology second is threat of substitute product third one is competition fourth one is legislation fifth one in uncertainty of demand and sixth one physical risk students you have 5 minutes please refer all the head points and if possible then learn also now you have 4 to 5 minutes if you have any textbook then take your textbook and learn from your textbook if you have not your textbook then please learn and refer from the screen i scroll the screen and show the head points first lo uh, read the definition and characteristics i scroll the my screen i scrolling my screen so you can see here now characteristics
if you have a textbook so please refer from the textbook because textbook is a preferable than screen okay done characteristics done now moving on objectives first one is economic objectives please read and learn students please only head points are only head points now social objectives in social objectives total seven first four year sorry total five objectives c done okay good now business risk now the reason of business risk causes that is reason please refer this causes okay done i hope we all learn this head point because it is most important for the examinations so now we are starting today's lecture uh, profession meaning of profession Pro uh, in common parlance profession is a uh, one kind of economic activity so a person with a specialized skill knowledge training and professional educational render service and in return receive a fees it is called a profession in in business provide some goods and in the return receive a price of goods that is business and in which form of economic activity the provide a profit uh, service due with the help of on knowledge specialized skills and in return receive a fees that is called profession professional has to obtain the membership of the respective professional association he has to obey the established code of conduct that is the behavior association for example a chartered accountant has to have a professional qualification of ca and has to become a member of institute of chartered accountant of india doctor lawyer solicitor chartered accountant etc are the professional person ca uh, provide uh, accounting service doctor provide a health service lawyer service a legal service and in return they all are receive a fees so that is called professional professional skill can also be used for employment for example when a doctor accept a rent a service in hospital in return of salary that it is called employment uh, one ca is a employee in a ca firm and uh, receive a salary then also it is called employment characteristics of profession uh, dear students uh, professional characteristics is not a head point only uh, in a sentence form so you write uh, mostly textbook words in examination please okay because if you, uh, head points given in the textbook then in detail you can write in your own words but uh, here head point is not given so you have to write the word to word points uh, first characteristics a professional has to obtain special knowledge skill and professional education so in this sentence three point is important special knowledge skill and professional education then is charge fees for providing service however the standard of fees varies as per his skill knowledge and experience uh, first one in first point underline specialized knowledge skill and profession then in second point underlines the standard of fees varies 
and the third point the primary objective of profession is to render a service primary objective and render a service please underline main 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 word tick karwa rahi hu please remember these words and it is a uh, important and it is must you write in examination it is an independent activity for earning independent activity the professional activity has no relation with production but it satisfy personal and business needs for example lawyer present a case in a court on behalf of a client and intend charge fees it is essential to obey the code of conduct means a code of behavior laid down by respective professional association and monetary return remain uncertain in professional because in a professional uh, monetary return means fees is not a certain not a fix because uh, as per different case as per different client fees were varies okay so total seven characteristics of profession uh, important words i tell you and you can underline specialized knowledge skill and professional second standard of fees varies in third primary objectivity and render service fourth one independent activity fifth one no relation with production satisfies personal and business needs then sixth code of conduct and seven monetary return uncertain okay if your sentence structure change in examination but these all words must be cover in your answer okay good now we are moving on next topic employment before that please read the one time characteristics now uh, characteristics here on your screen please read it one time only you have one or two minute then we are start employment please please fast fast main main words please learn okay good 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 everyone okay done very good let's start next topic employment employment is a third economic activity first one is a business second a profession and the third one is an employment employment means a job it is an economic activity performed in return for a fixed salary where the work is assigned as per the contract for example teacher teaching in school or government employee right so wait just now i am doing job in school and i am teacher so it is called employment right so characteristics of employment fixed salary is paid at fixed interval monthly payment fix hota hai then certain others benefit are available in addition to salary for example medical allowance pension etc Uh, first one is there the fixed salary monthly of uh, jo uh, payment is a uh, fixed in employment the other benefits is also available like uh, petrol allowance pension medical allowance etc then perform the assigned work as per the contract under the control of employer if i am teaching in school then uh, my head or uh, coordinator gives some work to me and uh, school pro assigns particular subject to me and i teach only a particular subject in my classroom only right so perform assign work then qualification working hours retirement benefits after retirement etc of the employment are predetermined a qualification working hours and retirement you all know but benefits after retirement like a pension okay pension is a uh, perfect example for the benefit after retirement then employment is a dependent activity it is not independent and a professional is a independent activity then both employer and employee are bound to follow the rules as per the contract the no capital investment is to be made by the 
employee in profession as in business capital investment is compulsory because without capital investment business cannot run and a uh, run is a uh, not a big thing but it is not it cannot start without capital investment business cannot start run is not a main thing but the starting is the main thing but business cannot start without capital investment and in employment capital investment is not required okay uh these characteristics are also important so please read it one time please students i give you 2 to 3 minutes and please use this time please utilize your time and read these points and possible if possible then learn now okay good next comparison business profession and employment nature of work in business goods and services are supplied to the customer in exchange of money in profession a render a service with direction in return of fees and employment work as per the rule and contract in business no qualification is essential professional man educational qualification training and expertise knowledge are essential and in employment a qualification is also required as per the nature of job then return or reward in business it is called profit in profession it is called fees and in employment it is called salary and wages capital is required in business limited capital is required in profession and in employment no capital is required then risk in business uncertainty of profit and risk of loss remain in business in professional type activity risk of non receipt of certain fees and in employment risk risk because uh, monthly salary and payment regularly fixed code of conduct legal provisions are to be followed in business then in profession followed as a prescribed by the respective professional association and in employment as per the rules specification in the agreement are to be followed and in business transfer of ownership is possible in profession it is not possible and in employment stand uh, no title of ownership because it is a employment it has no ownership right clear uh if this question ask in examination then you have to write the points like nature of work qualification rewards if you if you want right then you don't get you won't get good score so it must be right okay so you have to write in your examination this point please refer the points nature of work qualification reward or return capital risk code of conduct and transfer of ownership clear good uh, here we done the all three economic activities business profession and employment now we are moving on next topic classification of business activity in business also three types of activities like trade commerce and activities first one is trade exchange of commodity or service in return of commodity or service 
or exchange of commodity or service in return of money with the motive of profit between two person is called trade please underline definition or meaning exchange of commodity and service exchange of things and service in return of same or in return of money with the profit of motive motive of profit sorry what is called trade when you purchase a book from shopkeeper you pay money so that it is called trade here exchange of goods in return of money when you purchase bus ticket and travel by bus you get exchange of service in return of money paid uh, characteristics it is economic activity there are two parties purchaser and seller exchange is essential in trade without ex in exchange you can't do trade in exchange you have to buy the money or goods or i mean commodity but exchange is essential then in trade transfer of ownership of goods and services are done exchange of goods either an amount is paid or goods are exchanged trade is a continuous activity then value of goods or services determined in terms of money and trade is a legal activity please review read one time and learn also let's start uh, speaking with me please you all speak loudly economic activity there are two parties exchange is essential transfer of ownership of goods and service uh, in exchange either an amount is paid or goods are exchanged continuous activity value of goods and services determined in terms of money and it is a legal activity okay done good types of trade internal trade and international trade two types of trade internal and international first one is international sorry internal trade trade among different regions within the boundary of country is called internal trade a trader of ahmedabad purchase a box of apple from kashmir or trader of nagpur send a orange to rajkot these are example of internal trade that means in common parlance internal trade means within the country within the boundary of country it is called internal trade and if trade between two countries then it is called international trade uh, like uh, japanese company selling television to indian traders or kesar mango being sent from india to us usa it is called international trade international trade includes import export and re export import export and re export when some goods uh, we sell to other countries then it is called export then if we some goods purchase from other country then it is called import and if some goods we purchase then sell then it is called re export but these three activities are with the other countries only not within the country with the state but must be with the other countries okay here we done the trade in trade first is meaning then characteristics then types of trade internal and international uh, next topic commerce we start uh next topic is the commerce commerce is a first second types of business commerce means trade and auxiliary service to the trade these service include the service of banking insurance transportation communication warehousing and etc the world has become a global village from point of view of trade and its auxiliary service please underline uh, which type of service including in this commerce like banking insurance transportation communications warehousing and etc 
here the given is the characteristics of commerce trade is a part of commerce commerce is an economic activity a part of commerce economic activity auxiliary service helpful to the trade banking insurance and transportation increasing time and place utility of goods auxiliary service are demand oriented and if auxiliary service are available at reasonable price goods can supply to the customer okay clear uh, read one time please please read the characteristics and learn fast fast please read it i hope you all read ah huh? be honest please os is very use easy subject please learn and read okay done good uh first we studied about trade and then commerce now difference between trade and commerce meaning exchange of goods or service in return of money commerce includes trade and auxiliary service to trade scope of trade is limited scope of commerce is wide trade is included in commerce both the parties of trade are mostly known to each other in our proximity and in commerce both the parties may be distant place and may be unknown even though they can obtain auxiliary service it is important difference for the examination students right now we revise all the points in of today's lecture in today's lecture uh we start from profession uh when we start this lecture we discuss about the profession meaning and characteristics of profession then employment meaning of employment and characteristics of employment then comparison of business profession and employment in the comparison a uh, point of difference is most important like nature of work qualification returns capital risk code of conduct and transfer of ownership it must be write in paper if you don't write then you won't get good score then classification of business activities a uh, two type three types trade commerce and industries uh, first one trade meaning exchange of goods and commodity in return of commodity or money then characteristics then types of trade internal international in characteristic it is economic two parties essential exchange ownership of goods transfer continuous activity legal activity etc internal trade means diff a uh, trade among the different region within the boundary of country and international trade trade between two countries international trade includes import export and re export and uh, internal trade includes wholesale trade and retail trade then commerce meaning of commerce uh, commerce includes the trade and auxiliary service to trade then characteristics a part of commerce commerce is economic activity helpful to trade increase time and place utility of the service are demand oriented then difference meaning scope and parties clear and here we done today's lecture okay i hope you enjoy this lecture and understood all the topics if you have any doubt then you can ask me through comment okay if you see this my lecture in youtube channel then please don't forget the like share and sus- subscribe okay goodbye everyone goodbye and wait for my next videos uh, lecture number 4 of chapter number 1 okay goodbye everyone